Today we're with uh, Steve Greenhut, uh, who works for the Orange County Register. Is that right? That's right. And uh, we want to talk a little bit about uh, Orange County and California politics, uh, where it's at, and uh, yeah, where the state is intruding on liberties. And uh, there's a few instances of that. Is that right? Sure. The state always intrudes on liberties. Of course. Yeah. So I write mostly about local politics, and Orange County is a conservative bastion in a liberal state. What, but what does conservative mean? I mean, that to, to a lot of people that means statist also, just in a different it direction. It is in its own way. I mean, I, as I, I write, uh, I'm not I'm not left or right. I'm being a libertarian. So on some issues, uh, Orange County still has a residual anti-government, limited government uh, bent to it. Um, but a lot of the Republicans here are uh, very much in favor of, uh, of expansive government. Here in the city of Fullerton, we're sitting in, um, there's a, a city council that has three Republicans, two Democrats, and two of the worst council members are, are both Republicans, and they're in favor of uh, redevelopment, which is uh, government central planning to uh, rebuild, uh, rebuild downtowns through uh, subsidy and eminent domain. Um, two of the Republicans who were rather supportive of uh, pension increases for government employees. So even in a, in a city where we have two Democrats, two Repu three Republicans, uh, it's still a four to one vote usually on in favor of uh, big government. Yeah. So it's, uh, I, I fight more with Republicans. This is mostly a Republican county. Our paper, our readers tend to be Republican. Uh, they tend to, uh, tend to be supportive of uh, uh, overarching police uh, maneuvers. They're very hostile towards medical marijuana. Uh, they tend to be supportive of uh, government uh, uh, planning in terms of land use. Um, so uh, yeah, just because someone's a Republican or even a conservative, that doesn't, uh, yeah, it's not always clear what that means. Well, I mean, the best example is probably uh, Governor Schwarzenegger, right? It well, he's a different kind of an example. He He's a, uh, you know, there, there are quite a few Republicans in the state who are, uh, in this county, we have something called the New Majority, which is a liberal Republican group, a business interest type group, and they tend not to be supportive of the, the liberty issues, uh, the Second Amendment type issues, uh, the uh, property rights issues that uh, those of us who are believers in uh, free markets and limited government, uh, they, they're, they're supportive of uh, lower tax rates and uh, they're pro-business, you know, so pro-business, liberal Republicans, and that's where uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger comes out of, uh, well, he's a stri he's an anomaly, uh, but but there is a, the cons you have the conservatives, you have the uh, new majority, liberal Republicans, and then you have the Democrats who tend to be uh, always pro-status. When you say pro-business, do you mean like laissez-faire, or do you mean like mercantilist, where you have government pulling the strings? Right, right, the pro-business people tend not to, they're not laissez-faire, they, they're supportive of policies like the Chamber of Commerce types. Back during uh, the Democratic administration, Ray Davis, the uh, California Chamber of Commerce uh, gave almost all its money to Democrats. Uh, so they're they're into cutting deals. Uh, the business community was very hostile to ideas to stop by uh, eminent domain. I, I wrote a book on eminent domain and was uh, active in efforts to rein it in, and we've never been able to uh, get any kind of meaningful reform. So California is an oddity. It's not quite what the rest of the country thinks it is, uh, as far as um, you know, the land of uh, fruits and nuts and crazy left-wing activities. What a lot of the country thinks, and there's some of that. But it, it really isn't that. I mean, both parties are very favorable towards uh, um, increasing pensions for, for police and fire. I found we, we fight a lot on issues uh, related to um, uh, police abuse. And there's not a lot of support coming from conservatives uh, in, those, in those battles. Well, tell people what you do for the Orange County Register. I'm a columnist, um, editorial writer, I blog, I'm a deputy editor at the newspaper. We're one of the uh, yeah, we're one of the few libertarian editorial pages in the, in the nation. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were talking earlier about uh, freedom of communications and uh, how it's uh, owned and operated by libertarians. So, t how many newspapers are there out there, and what's the span? Yeah, the number I can't recall the number. It's thirty some uh, newspapers. I used to work in a small daily in Northwest Ohio, the Lima News, and they have a it's a chain of newspapers uh, throughout the country, and uh, the Orange County Register is the flagship. Colorado Springs Gazette is another, uh, this is the probably second largest. And so, uh, where do you see freedom moving in California? Is it uh, going to um, uh, 
withdraw, or is there any uh, potential possibilities for um, some libertarian um, policies to move forward? Right now, it's pretty frustrating. I mean, things. Uh, I don't think anything's really that great nationwide. And I don't think that just started one of my beefs with conservatives is all of a sudden they're very animated about the Obama administration and uh, the assaults on liberty. Uh, totally but, right. Totally but, but, you know, under the Bush administration, um, well, in Orange County, one story here, uh, the, the FBI out of uh, Los Angeles has been infiltrating mosques. And uh, uh, so all of a sudden, uh, right, so they're all of a sudden, conservatives are very upset because we hear the Obama administration with their... Uh, the Homeland Security with their right-wing extremism report. All of a sudden, maybe conservatives are going to start finding that the FBI is infiltrating conservative groups. And this is the, uh, the same Homeland Security Department that the Bush built up, of course. Right, right. I've always said, uh, wow, the next Democratic administration, back when, you know, I've been writing about this stuff for years, um, so they're going to love uh, using all the uh, expanded government powers that the Bush administration is, is concentrating in the executive branch. And I think we're seeing that already. And, uh, may maybe the Obama administration will be a good thing for uh, conservatives. We'll get to, it's like Mencken said, democracy is the theory that uh, the people get what they want, uh, you know, the common people, good at heart. And maybe that's what's going to happen with conservatives. A, a lot of conservatism in this county is uh, the things that, that define it are uh, the pro-military, um, supportive of all different international uh, interventions, and anti-immigration. Now, we're a paper that believes in uh, open borders, um, and uh, we're, we're, we've been hostile towards, um, which was the war in Iraq we opposed it from the start. So, so we're not conservatives, and libertarianism is not just a branch of conservatism, as I see it. I don't see myself as left or right. And some issues, readers think I'm a left winger, and others they think I'm a right winger. Yeah. We're for we're pretty consistent. Limited government in all areas. Uh, we don't believe in uh, we believe in legalizing drugs, opening the border. That makes us sound like uh, left wingers, but we're against uh, virtually any expansion of of government and uh, letting free people make up their own mind about uh, most things. So, uh, Well, uh, Steve, it's refreshing to hear that uh, there is an editorial voice that uh, can say these things uh, in, in these newspapers. So thanks very much for joining us and yeah, do the great you. work. Okay, thanks.